Human metacognitive processing capacities allow for a level of monitoring, control, and behavioral choice that make a certain level of free will possible. So even as researchers like the venerable Robert Sapolsky lament over the lack of free will in the universe, what seems to be happening is our collective understanding about the actual choice space of humans is becoming better defined. What kinds of choices do we really have? What are the conditions that support or inhibit the actual choices that we are capable of? When one contemplates the factors that impinge on our ability to make choices, you know, starting with micro disturbances like imperfect protein production, hormone troubles or other molecules, all the way through to internal cellular and, and even organ level impacts, particularly those that impact brain function on through trauma and historical and developmental experiences or even impacted by cultural, political, and environmental constraints on our choices. In the end, it might seem like there is no space for the free will and ability to make choices at all. We even know that humans can be raised under conditions that can arrest the ability to make choices. And even that conception of free will it can be prevented from forming. There are testimonials from individuals like Yomi Parks about growing up in places like North Korea, and they speak to what it is like to be raised without a conception of free will and how living conditions can be created to prevent the development of the ability to perceive their own subjugation. Knowing all that we know about how an individual's sense of choice can be distorted or impaired it is interesting that we have developed this distinct ability to make choices at all. But even armed with only this meager level of free choice, the nature of knowledge seems to suggest that once made aware of something, you can begin a process of learning about that thing. And if that thing, that's something that you're learning about is a skill, well, you're going to see improvable development in your behavior. The ability to self-regulate and choose behavior is central. If children do not believe that they can change their behavior to please adults, and teachers don't believe that they can affect student behavior with their lessons, well, education as presently constructed is going to collapse. It would have failed to even ever got off the ground. So while it's clear that humans have a much smaller choice space than we would perhaps even like to believe, the fact that there is even a choice space should be a call for deeper investigation. The ability to think about choices or possibly just have the knowledge that a choice is possible demonstrates that something akin to a concept of free will exists. And this opens up the possibility of individuals gaining greater control over this power through understanding. They can grow the ability to make better choices.